Well, after last year's shenanigans, I had no option but to We are at the end of that But I couldn't stay in Yamaji forever for I had to sit for my final secondary exams. Being that I was more into activities done in the hall like Saturday night entertainment. Now watch me where. Now watch me na na. Okay. Now watch me where. Where. Watch me na na. Why me do it? Now watch me where. Funky. Me, me, me against them. Me against enemies. Me against friends. Somehow people seem to become one. As people shocked in your small blood. They start coming to Nasa Raza. Must be surprising. I'm just a mother. I win. La. So. Dinners and not so much in the library meant that I was not a very good performer. But I was still going to be vetted like the rest of the KCSE students. And due to my prowess in interaction with the opposite sex, I had accumulated quite a number of friends from neighboring boys' schools. This meant that my performance would be closely vetted by them. Despite my panic and lost hope, I still had people who believed in me, causing a massive influx of success cards. I was a hotbed of success cards. Despite being index number one, 132, I managed to accumulate thrice the cumulative number of success cards gotten by index one to 20. And these were just my provincial areas. My strongholds were yet to forward theirs. It is this kind of high expectations that made me panic even more. Whenever I tried to read, nothing would sink in. My audience, I tried all theories fronted to me. I tried sleeping with a Bible under my bed. It did not work. I tried reading while chewing Big G. It didn't work. I even paid the school cook to boil all the chemistry books and drank the soup. This just made me drive. So, upon realizing that I was about to eat my tomatoes, I calmly decided to wait for the prayer day so as to see if God would be lenient enough on me, his faithful, loyal servant, who had come to him with a simple request. And when the day arrived, the school was packed with parents, relatives, and teachers who had come to pray. Eh, it's a kuangori. Boss, with your story. I was also lucky because my whole extended family had also come to give me unto the Lord. Accompanying them was my cousin Aizo, who despite having attained the grade D minus, was now an irregular student of economics at Star University. And being a close confidant, I told him about my fears. Instead of teaching me the study skills, which enabled him attain the D minus, he gave me his original Nokia touchscreen Ideos Duo Swap 6S S Plus China phone with a camera and told me to stay with it, promising to oil me using the phone. This was despite the fact that it was illegal to own a phone in school. I also vowed that should the oil arrive, 
I would smear it alone so as to surprise people in the school when the results finally came out. Especially that index number four who always looked down upon me. As the day came to an end, I was the happiest person for the prayer day had really turned into a blessing. Ama let's just say the prayer had been answered. Ladies and gentlemen, when the oil started arriving, it was the best moment for me. In fact, I felt the same ecstasy that my sister, Ama, felt when my cousin, the Portos himself, carried her in the beast. But do I say, Hey, itakuwa ngori, boss, mwisho a story. I would receive the oil for various subjects and spend the whole night cramming them like catechism. To act as backup, I would also prepare short notes on very tiny pieces of paper because I never trusted my brain in storing such huge amount of data. To cut the long story short, the day of KCSE finally arrived. As usual, day one is normally history paper one and a very confident me walked towards the examination hall, right past the hawk-eyed policeman and to the invigilator who was to frisk me. My audience, if you think the invigilator was foolish enough not to get the phone or the small papers, you are right. This is because I had hidden the backup carefully in a place no one expected, right in my inclusive area and the phone in my exclusive area. When the crisp green paper was handed to me, I wrote my name and opened the first page. Eish! From up to down to up. What? Page two, page three. Whoa, lo, 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 lo. I knew nothing completely. Was it that my brain had decided to forget everything that Izo had oiled me? Or was the oil really oil? I'm a just diesel. I decided to go for plan A. I removed the phone from my exclusive area so as to read the answers. But shock on me, ladies and gentlemen. The phone would just not switch on. I tried again. Nothing. And again. Nothing. And again, and again, and again, and a better reload. Oh, oh, oh. Nataka kupata hi leakage na better reload. Oh, oh, oh. Kufeli na kuja. Better reload. Kumbe, I hadn't charged the phone before going to the exam room. I had to go for plan B and get out the backup from my inclusive area. Slowly and stealthily like a cyborg, I unleashed and carefully opened it. Then read question number one on the paper. Discuss the functions of the cabinet of India. Then I looked at the answer in the oil backup. Pulmonary vein, pulmonary artery, vena cava, aotwa. Eh, Joadu, I had carried the biome wax into the history exam. As if on cue, the invigilator noticed me behaving in a manner likely to suggest that I was doing something illegal and craned her neck. To look, I saw her rise and scrambled it to return it to my inclusive area. But it fell down, Nanika Kanya gear, and pretended to be very busy writing. Administ the pin drop silence and tension filled room. My dear audience, you cannot imagine what happened next. Things moved from bad to worse as I felt something move on my seat. 
louder than an exploding ball button airport. People, my China phone had decided it was the right time to ring and vibrate in my exclusive parts. It would vibrate, shaking me on the seat, and I was promptly removed from the exam room, taken to the principal's office, stripped, and the phone retrieved. Kumbe, it was another oil message from Aizo. To make matters worse, the backup message was also found under my locker by the invigilator. People, it has been three years since that time and I have served my two-year term in committee prison. Aizo is serving his three out of four years. And this time round, I am ready for the stab of the exam. And yes, I have studied enough. And come rain, come sunshine. Giniwa sekali.